Welcome back to Mobile Tech Week. Today we're going to take a quick look at the official Flickr application for Windows Phone 7, which was released just a few minutes ago on the marketplace. As you can see, we have a nice panoramic control on the home screen. Here I can explore all the photos and videos uploaded on Flickr. Here are all my recently shot and saved photos on my handset. And finally here you have the invite tab where I can invite my contacts and this is my photo stream and all the galleries and photos I have already uploaded on Flickr. So let's go into the explore view. One thing you'll notice is that the application uh, isn't super fast. It takes a while to download all the thumbnails and this is one of the downside of it. It's not super smooth and as you can see it's still downloading all the thumbnails you can scroll up and down and once you do this it will once again automatically start downloading uh, another batch of uh, photos so let's try to look at one of the photos and see how the detailed view looks like oh just got an error message and this one pops up really often so here we have the photo right below you, you have a big maps control integrated into the detailed view so if I tap on it it will open a big maps control and uh, show me where the picture is located on earth Here we go. So you can zoom in, zoom out. Let's go back. You can see all the comments and you can also pass the comment. See where it appears if it's in the particular gallery. And finally you have the detail exif information of the photo. You can also share it via email. So let's take a look at the second pivot. So here you have the galleries which are sorted in list view. You can sort them out in grid view and also search directly here. Have all the recently uploaded photos. And once again, it takes a while to download everything. And here you have all the recently uploaded videos so we're gonna try to take a look at one and hopefully it will work so let's look at this one Here we go. You can also rotate your device and watch the video in landscape mode. You can also share it right here. This is really pretty nice. The only downside once again is that it takes a while to open and download everything. And you have this little error message that pops up every once in a while. And you basically have the same pivot control as we saw earlier when looking at photos. And here is the nearby tab where I can see all the recently uploaded and taken photos uh, which aren't far from my location because the application is actually geolocating me. And back again to the interesting stuff. And let's try to sort of my list view to see how it looks like. Once again, it's going to take a little while to download everything and sort them out. Here we go. So let's go back to the home screen and see how we can upload photos 
directly you can go here I can just tap on this picture and upload it directly from here here we go and it's actually uploading in the background or I can just go into the upload menu and navigate through my folders on my device go into sample pictures and upload any one of these pictures so here we go and you can see here a little sc scrolling bar and it's done now the photo is actually uploaded on Flickr so here are the two newly uploaded photos I can just tap on one to see the details, comments see where it appears, the details of the photo let's go back, open this one I just have to tap on the photo to view it pinch to zoom really smooth to watch all the details you can just one tap to hide the UI swipe left and right to go from one photo to another go back here if I hit play it will go into slideshow and now if I go back once again you have everything right here you have the details sorry all the EXIF is available right here So this was a quick look at the official Flickr application for Windows Phone 7. Oh, and you can also search directly from here. If I do a quick search and hit search, it will once again take a little while to download all the thumbnails. But as you can see, it's a really fully featured application only downside is the performance of the UI and uh, the data data fetching over the network I'm on a Wi-Fi connection right now and it can take a little while to download everything every time and uh, it also doesn't run on the lock screen uh, so if the screen turns off it will reload everything which can be a little bit painful so you can catch more mobiletechworld.com or mobiletechworld.tv on YouTube. Thanks for watching.